go. Crash Good flow. stuff. So you're going to meat and co. Yeah, meat pie and co. Meat pie and co. I don't like meat they, pies. No, no. See, that's the weird thing. Meat mm -hmm. and pie co. So it's meats and like apple pie, lime pie. Okay. So meats and pies, but their meat is legit. Tomahawk, mm -hmm. chuck burgers, tomahawk steaks, chuck burgers, briskets. Mm -hmm. um, you don't find brown people that work with meat this well, by the way. Even at the butchers, they'll be like, can I get a top sirloin? And you'll be like, I have meat. Yeah, unless you I go to like uh, Paramount. Paramount. Yeah. Yeah, those guys know what they're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so interesting because they're all Arab, but they know exactly what they're doing. Like, yeah. they do not miss a beat. Yeah, they, they, uh, they're all trying to become millionaires, I feel. When they work for Paramount, they look at the guy who's the millionaire, and they're like, yeah. we all want to be him. So let me just, let me just work for him, and maybe he'll He's a good off. guy. I've spoken with him a couple of guys. Yeah. He seems like yeah, a nice yeah, yeah. dude. He seems, he seems nice. He seems, uh, he seems genuine. He seems generous. Yeah. You ever have one of those fundraisers? And they're like, yeah, but I want to, I don't want to, okay, sorry, go ahead, sorry, sorry, sorry. You, well, go ahead. No, 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 it has nothing to do with that. I just want to talk shit about some other rich people. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, go ahead. Well, I was just going to say, like, I've, I've seen one of those where, like, do we have somebody who will donate $5,000? And I've yeah, seen that yeah. guy be, like, one of those first ones yeah. to be like, I'll, I'll toss him a five. Just, yeah, That's yeah, a few yeah. shormas, whatever, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. You wanted to shit on uh, rich people? Please continue. Yeah, uh, specifically, I don't know if I should, uh, maybe some of them listen to the podcast. Uh, so there's a, there's, a, there's a car group, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's, yeah. There's I know exactly group. who you're talking about. <laughs> and, and the thing is, is that... Uh, so I've been invited to go and I've, I'm like, right. I know what I drive, you know, mm -hmm. and I just like, I'm not, I'm not going to fit in. I'm not going to fit okay. in with these people. But I've seen people with other cars that shouldn't be there. And I've seen people in there with all sorts of vehicles. Fair enough. But you know what they feature on their, on their Instagram profile and whatnot. That's it. All and right. it's, and it's not like, it's not because I'm not a car guy enough. Mm -hmm. for, that's the reason why I don't want to be part of this group because right. I'm, I'm more than, I'm more car guy than all of those people. You tell him. Yeah, 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 yeah for yeah. sure. If you're not, if you're not working on cars, yeah, you're right. This is this is arbitrary, but this is what yeah. I'm saying. If you don't work on your cars, you don't mod your cars, you don't change your own oil, you don't you don't do the regular upkeep, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're just a guy who likes cars. Yeah, not you're a car just a guy, guy who drives the car. Yeah, exactly. You're not a car guy. That's it. You're like a, a swimming specialist who's never been in the pool. You've exactly. seen a lot of races. You know how to yeah, stay yeah, float, yeah. but don't yeah, pretend, yeah, yeah. motherfucker. Exactly. Don't even come in here. No, no, Cars no. Cars and chais? Yeah, you yeah, probably yeah. know just as much about making chais as you know about... Yeah, they're fans. Things. That's what they are. They're, they're, yeah. they're fans with money. And see, like most of these people, they just drive... They just have a lot of money, mashallah, mm -hmm. to buy really nice cars. And then they get right. to hang out. And yeah. then talk about and the thing is is that like I won't I won't lie to you. It's probably great networking. It's pro they're probably right. they're probably very nice people who mm -hmm. w like if you hung out with them, they'd be able to try to help you out. I don't really doubt their their like, you know, their goodness of their heart. I just right. I it, what annoys me is that they call themselves a car group and these are just, just fucking rich people with nice cars. <laughs> Right? Yeah, it should I've be been called rich people and like, get the fuck out of Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what it is. That's exactly what it is. And it's, you know, they like <laughs> this whole thing about like uh, philanthropy where they go and they obviously, you know, they've been they they volunteer. They were dropping off food at like um, what's it called? Yeah, uh, health foods. Great, great. I fucking hate it when they <laughs> like just car car enthusiasts. Yeah, fuck listen, out of here. Most I'm of sure these guys tracked. do. Yeah, I'm I'm sure they do whatever they do. Actually, I'm sure they do a yeah. lot of good. Yeah, but still, you know, like. Screw them. Like, I don't... Uh, <laughs> I hate them so much. Yeah. <laughs> because of it. Because I went of to it. A, I went to an event last year, and they were there, and they took up all the handicap spots. Yeah. I'm sure it's because they were told you can have these spots. Yeah, but you can't. But still, yeah. like, no. what are you doing? Listen, if, inshallah, I mean, at some point, I get myself a nice, a nice Porsche, a Porsche, yeah. sorry, or if I'm driving a Lamborghini or whatnot, even if they're like, listen... You know, thank you very much for your donation. Thank you very much for your time. Right. Yeah. What, what we're going to do is that uh, uh, we have this this closed course. You're going to take a kid, put him in the in the passenger seat, and you're going to rip around this this this, uh, this racetrack. It's going to be amazing for everyone. It's a great time or whatever. And he said, mm -hmm. you can store your cars on uh, in the, uh, the the handicap parking spot. I would never do that 
because it doesn't matter who told you what. A Lamborghini sits on a handicapped spot, even if you're told you're an asshole. There's no way around it. Even when they told, even when they tell me, even when they tell me that I was told, still an asshole. I I don't care. You're rich enough for you to use another parking spot. (laughs) Yeah. Have some self. Uh, We we obviously didn't plan to shit on these guys. But if anybody knows us, we'll we'll shit on things that things need to be shat on. Uh, Those guys can uh, definitely message us from their Lamborghinis. (laughs) Yeah, let let us us know. know. We would love to, like, you know, if, uh, you know, we'd love to know what If they come back and say, said, Yasin, I made this car. Would you, (laughs) would you about face? Yeah, 100%. They're like, this 100%. is not a Lamborghini logo, bro. This is my face. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, they're like, and okay. And then 100%. He becomes a, he becomes a, f- like, free shout outs for the podcast. Okay. I agree. Yeah. We, yeah. If any of you guys are, are legit, then feel free to yeah, message Yassine specifically. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have a, I'm just egging you on, dude. This is like what I do with fighting, you know? Yeah, <laughs> like, I'll fight you. Yassine's like, yeah, fight this guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Right, anyways, how else yeah, you doing, man? How was the uh, week? Week has, uh, week has been, Week has been busy. Week mm. has been busy, and uh, and uh, the reason why it's being busy is if I had to be quite honest with myself, I kind of lost my like my discipline with regards to time management. And sometimes when I think about that, you know, mm-hmm. I mean, like, you know, I still get everything done. I just feel like I'm just behind the gun the entire time. Then I remember Jocko Willink. <clears throat> he has this. He has this saying. He says, "Rome wasn't built in a day," which is true. It mm-hmm. wasn't built in a day. Right. But he's like, also, Rome didn't fall apart in a day. Right. And then he goes right. on and he says, it's a little slip up here. It's a little oversight there. It's a little bit of this. And then soon enough, your life is in shambles. I'm like, yes, that's what it is. That's what it is. My lack of time management today <laughs> means that I will be a meth addict in two months. <laughs> you seen pull Ooh. up? I'd Pull love to watch quick. that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Can you, can you take a picture every day if that's what's going to happen? Because <laughs> I won't let it happen. I won't let okay. it happen to myself. No, I won't. Because Jocko will Definitely not with safe. meth. Yeah, you won't do that with meth. You would do that with, like, sugar. Yeah. You know? You get on that wrong... Do you believe that? Do you believe the what? whole sugar is as, a, as a addictive uh, as cocaine? I think it uh, comes down to your genetic makeup. Because mm-hmm. sugar doesn't affect me the way it affects let's say my sister right like i don't need sugar if somebody right. offers me a cake 99 times out of 100 i'm okay right so obviously it affects me differently I, it, I mean from a fat perspective i don't know but like just from a taste bud it has no power over my chemical makeup mm. like other things you know i've never done cocaine but i feel like if i did it i'd be like oh i can see why I this is much better this than again. sugar this is way better than <laughs> sugar you know <laughs> can i put this on a muffin <laughs> you know like is this what i've been missing um all right, fair enough. Which would be really cool. Like, if they do legalize everything, you're like, hey, man, you want a beaver tail with some... Oh, that would be nice, right? With some you know, cocaine? if they legalize everything and they make it very easy for you to, like, get into rehab. Like, rehab is... You can, you, you can get, like, um, Groupons for rehab. Ooh, you I know? Like so you just stack up a couple Groupons, make sure it's mm-hmm. all good, and then go and have yourself a cocaine muffin. Mm. Right? Well, you know, you probably have to eat it with your nose. But I don't know that much about cocaine. Can you eat cocaine? Yeah, I think. Don't they normally rub it and then they put it on their teeth, like the little bit? I, th- I think those are like true addicts who have a problem. Who like, Ugh, and you're like, whoa. Yeah, <laughs> their they, teeth are they, not. They snort a not, line and then they rub yeah. their hand on the mirror. They take it out and yeah. they rub it in their teeth. Yeah, I don't know. I gotta ask. Uh, we should. We've had people on that have done. Co- I just don't want to shout them one. out for that reason. <laughs> like, we should get he, that guy. He on. was. He was very forthcoming, though. Didn't, yeah, he was. So he open opened about up it. with it. He opened up with yeah. it. We're like, "Hey, man, how you doing? I did some cocaine last night." <laughs> and that's like, how we started. I, I think he might have said that morning. I think he might have said. Might have said that morning. And he was pretty. Like, I woke up and I picked him up, and I was groggy, and he yeah. was ready. He was ready to go. He's like, "Hey, <laughs> good podcast. Right, I right, enjoyed right. it. Yeah. We'll have him back on. We will." Yeah, I like that guy. Oh, okay. I thought he was excommunicated. That's my friend. I'm sorry. I like that's. You know what? It's the same thing you would see with like comedians on podcasts, right? We're like, yeah, that guy's he Chris stabbed D'Elia. somebody. <laughs> it's like Chris yeah, D'Elia. well, not Chris like... D'Elia, but like you know, like Joey Diaz will kidnap people. Yeah. But everybody's like, well, that's that's Joey though. He's fine. Yeah. And until further notice, this is how I feel about my 
cocaine doing friend. Fair, fair enough. Fair enough. It's very, uh, very loyal of you. You know what's funny is uh, yeah. this person got me on a book show uh, yeah. on the twenty fifth, which yeah. is this coming weekend. Okay. And then he sent me a message saying the police shut it down, man. They won't let us do it. And I was like, were you doing an illegal show? He's like, and he didn't answer back. I was like, wait, you just booked a show without telling, getting yeah. any permits or anything? He's it seems like, like something that that's what something he would do though. Right, you know, like coming I, from him, like when he, yeah, the, the, the just, police would shut it down and be like, "This seems correct. <laughs> that seems right. on brand." Coming from, I you. just, I just thank the guy for trying to put on a live comedy show. That's true. Like, thanks you for, need, thanks you need for having the courage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> you need renegades like that. Oh, I'm talking about. All right, we got some, uh, we got some news, bro. Yeah, just to do some quick fire stuff over here. Uh, I'm, go- I'm gonna go with the one that I, do- I know the least about. Okay, uh, Kanye West is losing his mind. Yeah, I hear about this from Kim, actually. <laughs> All right. So Did you hear Ka- Kim's? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So Kanye West, uh, so Kanye West goes on, 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 on a Twitter rant, yeah. start talking about how he's been trying to, uh, he's been trying to, to divorce Kim since she met up with, uh, Meek Mill, um, you know, alluding Meek. to the fact that probably, yeah. you know, they were cheating or, you know, they were, he was, she was cheating on him. Um, he talked about a bunch of other things that didn't quite make sense, or maybe it makes sense to other people who who are in the know. Um, he had this whole thing about Harriet Tubman, as in like she didn't actually free the slaves, but she actually she got them. She she just she just got them to another place where they're working. Like, yeah, I understand how you would think that work is also a form of slavery. We all think that we're somewhat slaves to our jobs, but it's not slavery though. You can make all, sense of all of it if you're like from Kanye's perspective. I see what he's saying, right? But yeah, like from every, anybody else's perspective, like, like, but it's not slavery, though. I think uh, uh, I had a lot of. I didn't read anything yeah. that uh, Kanye said. Oh, I okay. read uh, he did everything that. Later. Oh, okay, probably. Yeah. I I read what Kim wrote, and yeah. I've never written like I don't know what this lady's voice really sounds like. By the way, right? I've never seen her speak. You know how her uh, butt looks like, though. Uh, I think and that's so. no fault of yourself. It's not it's, you it's being around. a God fearing Muslim person, yeah. knowing what Kim Kardashian's butt looks like, is not a reflection of your religiosity. Oh, no. It's no, you're not trying to see this thing. It comes up in weird ways where you like you you know open your CRISPR and you're like oh shit it's in the it's in here now like it's everywhere it's uh, yeah, that it shit really flies around. It is yeah. very everywhere. But I, I re- and it sounded so sincere mm-hmm. and intelligent. That this person needs help, Kanye. Yeah, I felt bad for Kim. I shouldn't write it. No one writes anything over there, bro. They got like teams, bro. They have teams on teams on teams, dude. Here, let me put it to you this way: If you think anything that comes out of that doesn't doesn't go through a, a number of filters before it goes out actually to 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 the world, dude, I all I need to do is yeah. you need to Google Kim Kardashian refrigerator. Okay. Okay. It's not a refrigerator. It's a small supermarket. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> It's just, you walk in, and there's more. Like when you think there's there's not a, like you take a turn. There's more. There's more. Uh, there's more shelves. All right. These Man. people have so much money. They don't live the way how you. They don't. They don't I, even operate. That came in real went. quick. I wrote Kim Kardashian's in the letter R. Yeah. And it was like, let me show you a refrigerator. <laughs> it's a good idea for them to have professionals who send out you know this kind of messages because this is a hard one to send out like yeah, you wanted well, to be you know, for sure i'm not i'm not i'm not saying that but uh but i'm just i'm just saying that i don't think she's as <laughs> as that message was i'll say kanye uh would be the guy who doesn't use any filters whatsoever yeah that's true that makes sense interesting but, i can't watch you know, this video right now we yeah. know he has uh he has a uh, bipolar disease and he's always been well he is the way how he is and that's probably the reason why this man can take any sample and make an absolute monster hit with so it's like so interesting it's amazing like uh, no one has ever said kanye should stop making music right everyone's been saying kanye should only be making music maybe yeah. just chill on everything else yeah. you know uh but hopefully because the, the, the help he needs man or like is willing to get help because a lot of people think that all right because they're rich um they're just gonna get the help mm-hmm. you know you know Anthony Bourdain, no. Uh, you know, Robin Williams, no. There's plenty of people who needed help, and if they don't want it, they don't get it, and then they die. Yeah, uh, it's normally. I mean, I, this is true for myself. You have to be faced with something that you are actually like, oh my god, I can't do this alone. Yeah. Or I need some help, and or, uh, and you have to. Yeah, yeah, you need to have. And that sometimes that that occurrence comes after like the type of thing where like, oh no, you should have been working on yourself prior to that. Fortunately for most people, like. 
you can get help earlier, but I, I wonder if there's yeah, guys also, you know. Yeah. Not Great music long. though. Jesus walks. That's true. You know, excellent. Even the new shit. Wow, man. What are you like? Then again, I can't even tell you the title of the new one. I just listened to it in the gym. Anyway, mm -hmm. that's Kanye. We got another one. Let me close this window real quick. Cause, uh... Sure, sure. I'm going to make some small talk. Should we timestamp this or should I just keep talking? All right. He can't hear me. We can talk about Yasin people. Let me tell you a secret. All right. He's back. We're going to stop talking about Yasin. All right. Uh, yeah. Um, Nick Cannon is in the news. Oh, yeah? Tell me. Nick Cannon is in the news being fired by Viacom <laughs> for anti-Semitic statements. Okay? Mm. Anti, I mean, racist, statement, racist statements, in my opinion, racist statements towards white people, and then also anti-Semitic statements. Uh, but most people didn't have, uh, people completely overlooked the white one and they're just like uh yeah let's just go uh let's just deal with anti-semitics and uh the anti-semitic part of it so here's the deal okay yeah. so he had a guy uh, he had a pre like a rapper from i think public enemy um and um that guy is very open with his anti-semitism mm -hmm. he's he said straight up in his book or somewhere else where he's like uh the world's evil is due to jewish people so he had, uh, so uh, Nick Cannon has a podcast, has that dude on the podcast. Mm -hmm. um, and then, um, uh, and, and like, it, it, if you watch, if you watch or listen to the podcast, you'll see that, it, like, Nick Cannon is kind of like the guy who um, will, will agree or, like, vibe with the person he's talking to. Right? right. So the other person has these views. And then Nick Cannon's like, yo, I read a book about this. So let me tell you, let me say the stuff that he learned. So he said something along the lines of this. He's like, as a result of white people not having melanin in their mm. skin, right? They had no choice but to become savages that ended up colonializing the world, raping women, you know, uh, subjugating human beings. It had no choice in the matter because they didn't have enough sun. They don't have mm. enough melanin in their system. Man. And as a result, that's that. And then he throws in, like, the banks are, are controlled by the Jews. And he throws in a couple other, uh, you know, a couple other tropes and stuff like that. So stereotypes about that. And uh, Jewish people don't play. Jewish people were like, we will take everything away from you. Oh, yeah. We're gonna <laughs> in take... Hollywood? Get, out, get yeah. the fuck out of here. Give me that last name. <laughs> you know, like, they'll take everything <laughs> away from you. Also, what the hell is Nick Cannon doing? Like... You're famous for the weirdest shit right now, which is a rap show and Mariah Carey. Those yeah. are the two things he's known for, and right. weird hats. Yeah, weird, uh, weird hats. Yes, he's uh, he's also like dude is connected though. Eh? He's been he 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 does a lot of production work. The dude is like almost a billionaire. I'm pretty sure his network is stupid. I'm right. sure he's made some right moves. I always wonder, like, what happens if Jimmy Fallon is talking to a guest, and yeah. that guest starts saying racist stuff, I feel like Jimmy Fallon would probably go along with it, too. Just laugh yeah. a lot. You gotta shut it down. Yeah, you have you, 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 you have to. Yeah, it's called Cannon's Class. Also, he's not close to a billionaire. Uh, just only okay. about, only about uh, 35 million, apparently. That's nothing for as long as he's been making millions of dollars, right? That guy's been making a million dollars for at least 10 years. He's been getting paid let's say a million like dude he, he was should a be writer ahead. he was a di he was a writer for uh for cbs viacom i believe when he was under age he started working like he was an actual like paid employee of them yeah this is a mismanagement on. of funds in my opinion this is not a <laughs> like how old is he uh i don't know oh check that stand please. by stand by nick cannon is 30 Nine years old. He's 40 years old. He's 40 years old. How old is Mariah 39. Carey? How um, old is Mariah Carey? Let's find out. Mariah Carey. 50 years old. This is why Nick Cannon probably doesn't have a prenuptial. Probably not. And no, he's just Mariah like... Mariah was richer. He probably told That's exactly he, right. He, he why he doesn't want a prenuptial. <laughs> he's going to take her money. That's why he's making all these stupid decisions yeah. right now. He's like, I'm sad, dude. I've got a freaking trust He's fund. not married, eh? Like they oh, were divorced no? a long time ago, dude. 
I, I don't keep up with things the way I with, should. With, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, you should have broken me that and then talked about the Nick Sorry, Cannon man. Stuff, I thought you would know. Everyone knows yeah, that they're I'm broken sorry. up. I thought yeah, they, they were. Like, stuff. you don't hear Eminem dissing them? No. I, you know? I don't. Yeah. No. Also, right. Meek Mills trying to get with everybody's lady, right? Meek Mills? I've heard some rumors. Is that what Meek Mill does? I don't know what Meek Mill does. I don't know. I'm sorry. I thought you'd jump on with it. No. All right, cool. I th- what else? I, I don't know. I don't know enough uh, about Mr. Meek Mills. No problem. But there it is. Uh, that's that's what Nick Cannon was doing, just just uh, flippantly. And I think, like, how do you remember that episode of um, uh, of uh, Rick and Morty when mm. when they when the mention of Israel came up and the the gag around that was like uh, when they're like, "What about Israel?" and he's like, "I don't know. It's a very complex situation where there's a lot." <laughs> like he back, and that's like Rick. Sanchez, the guy who does has zero fucks to give about anything, a hundred percent backpedals when when Israel came up. Like, it is a popular trope. You gotta be <laughs> careful, bro. <laughs> like, oh, even I if know. it's in Rick and Morty, Nick yeah. Cannon, what are you doing? You think they're not gonna come for you? Oh, of course. So you can't talk about minorities, guys. I don't care how powerful their minority might be as a. You can't talk about Asians. You can't talk about Chinese people. Not, can't the, talk way how that, not can't, the way how he's talking about it. Yeah. Oh, definitely not. You can't talk about Arabs having oil. You can't. You got to be careful. You got to be careful or you got to be one of them. Yeah. So. Yeah, you got you to gotta be super careful. Uh, super duper careful. Uh, news that are specific to maybe only a few people who listen to the podcast, but definitely for myself and you, bro. Yeah. The new gameplay footage. Of Halo Infinite was released today. Ooh. It was beautiful. Really? Oh yes, it is a it is a return to the how they once did it, back in Halo yeah. One, Halo Two, and Halo Three. If at least that's the art style, that's the way how they're looking at it. They even did the new the new uh, poster came out. They they released the poster on Instagram, and the poster. Mm is exactly or very similar um, setup, background, pose, everything as Halo 1. This is nice. really what, that, what, that, what they're trying to show is that we're going back to our roots. They've been saying that for like the last two or three years while this game was in development. We're going back to our roots. What made us great is what we're going to be focused on in this, in this, in this game. We're going to kind of try to take back what we did for number four and number five and, uh, and do it right. And boy... They did it right for the it for the, f- the ten minutes that I saw. Great. Now we don't see, we haven't seen multiplayer yet, so that right. was just that's just uh, that's just a uh, 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 campaign single player, but that's coming. So do they like okay? They made the game. Do they like get it to some pros for like gameplay and stuff, or did they have like pros on in the company that you know test these games for playability and all that? Yeah. So they definitely have uh, pros on deck. Um, mm. That already that works for work for Microsoft for three four three. Wait, yeah, three four three. Yeah. Uh, however, uh, what they'll do is when when the, the the multiplayer is ready to be tested, then they do an invitation of uh, like you know some of the people who are like you know your, your ex pros and things like that, and they come in and then they test the game, the the, the weapon balances and all that other that's, stuff. That's all you want. Yeah, that that's is all you want. definitely. And so it's going to be interesting to see because like. You know, for the longest time, uh, most video games uh, generally under deliver, right? What they say that they're going to do and what they do, it just never happens. Just it's just the way how it is. You know, you just kind of like get used to um, uh, 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 disappointments, specifically with sequels. So um, to see this, to see you know promises made two years ago come to fruition right now and that you know the art design is similar they, they they put the locale back in the same place you don't play as anyone else except master chief um you know all of those things are like super important to uh, to like the fan and the hardcore fan base and it's definitely back again they wouldn't mind i mean like it, i mean like i'm i'm it looks like it's going to be great Sick. i just hope they have like some sort of like area with retro maps like powerhouse or sword base or countdown right. or they any of those beloved that. Yeah, yeah, they good. always do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In nice. fact, so basically, what they'll do is they'll release a couple new ones, and then after they'll they'll release the the retro ones because the retro ones are the ones that everyone's gonna want to play with anyway. That is just the way it goes, bro. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Anyway, talk to me about this knife. Which one? Okay, fair enough. I like that answer. I like that answer. That sounds like the answer of a killer, by the way. Somebody that somebody that has more than one knife is what it sounds like. Um. Which one? Once All right. again. 
So uh, you said that you purchased a set, one of these knives. I think it's a, your chopping knife. Mm. Okay. And, and it looks nice. It looks like uh, it was fashioned by, by Hitori yeah. Hanzo from, from I have Japan. it like less than 10 feet away. You want to just pick it up? Yeah, yeah, go pick so it up. So I can show it? Here. Yeah, yeah. Make some small talk. Uh, I wanted to double check who was Nick Cannon talking to on that podcast where, uh, was it actually the guy from Public Enemy? I totally forgot. Anyway, uh, I might need to be fact-checked on that. But it is what Let's it is. Let's drop the knife. <laughs> yeah, don't drop right. the knife, man. No, I won't. Yeah, so this is the reason I sent this to you. Hold on. I know my voice is a little off while I open a knife. Oh, yeah. White people are animals and true savages. That's what he said as well. Well, I think this yeah. was the knife I uh, sent you. Well, fuck me. Yeah. This is the... So the reason I sent you a picture of this mm -hmm. is because I was on AliExpress and I waited four months for this. Yeah. And this took, it was $34. Mm -hmm. And then lo and behold, this was released three months ago by AliExpress. And now it's on Instagram, just like those vibrating guns. Mm -hmm. And it's $100 on a website. It's the exact same everything, except they put a logo mm -hmm. right here, yeah. which does not have. It's the same exact knife. So I'm wondering... You know, if you were, if you knew about this, right, you make a, you make a, you make a, a decision, you order, yeah, do it, do it. Let me get a better piece of paper. I, this is how I keep score of my Tetris games, but this magazine, though, on the other hand, doesn't deserve any mercy. All right, sorry. Just, keep talking just, while no, I cut okay. this. All right, fair enough. I was just saying, you know, there might be a kind of like a hustle. You you purchase like a hundred of these at thirty four right. bucks and then sell it for a hundred. That is crazy. You know, it cuts pretty. Like oh, it's yeah. not a hard cut at all yeah. to get into uh, right paper. Through. Oh, right through. Oh yeah, that's yeah you got to go upwards. Yeah, you got to go. You got to go up. You got to go down. Yeah, man, you get a nice square. It's not even a slicing knife. This is a chopping knife. But I'm assuming if it can chop, it slices. Bro, don't do that. I, uh, I, I, after I get any of my knives, I sit down and sharpen them for 20 to 30 minutes. Especially right? Just like a crazy person with like a whetstone? Do you like, do you, do you, you want to see my you whetstone? Put, like, do you put I Japanese, have a whetstone? Do you put Japanese samurai music in the background <laughs> as you just slowly I put just, on a hat. <laughs> <laughs> I get take some a picture. Tea yeah, I'm so Japanese. I'll take like a fag of Korea, turn it upside down. Like I get really. Oh, you said flag. You said flag. Did I say fag? <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I was trying to say just, flag, and I might have I was said gonna, that. I was just going to clarify. My man no, said... I meant the flag. <laughs> he, he did not mean that. I'm not going to Nick Cannon this for you. Trust me. <laughs> Thanks. I'll be like... I'll be just backpedaling. I mean, it's a, it's a complex situation. <laughs> it's a complex situation. But I, uh, yeah, I sit down and I sharpen uh, all of these knives at least once okay. a month for fun. It's very therapeutic, by the way, to sharpen your blade. Okay, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure, man. I think women respect that. I think that I think I think so. I think so. I think uh, I think people respect and love what they fear. You know, a man sitting cross-legged on a bamboo mat, listening to listening to lo-fi samurai hip hop, while he 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 sharpens, he sharpens the blade. his blade. I mean, you know, I don't know. I don't know what wife would look at a husband that's doing that and be like, "What a pussy." You're lazy. Yeah. <laughs> right. No, you can't do it. Yeah. She's like, "Mm-hmm." That's good. I agree. Mm. I agree with you, man. The internal motivation for both for both yeah. parties. So, I mean, really, if you want to, so what you're trying to say, I guess, is that to to maintain a healthy relationship, a healthy marriage, purchase something sharp, sharpen that shit. Yeah, help around to the house is what I'm trying to say. Right. I, this could have been a mop, and I had a new technique on how to clean it. <laughs> yeah. If you're a dude, uh, figure out some ways to contribute. Sharpening knives is honestly probably the most funnest and easiest way to do it. Other I would say that, grilling. Take yeah, grilling's an easy one. Yeah, yeah just if you can make grilling. a take care of food twice a week. Mm -hmm. Grill like it's fun. Mm -hmm. I made fish on Monday. Yeah, oh, I, I did shit fish to do. too. I want to talk dude. to you about some fish. What do you do? Salmon. <clears throat> mahi mahi. What's that look like? I know, is that a green? I feel like it wears a like a hula skirt. It might. <laughs> look because into it sounds it. like it's from Hawaii. That mahi mahi fish sounds like it comes from Hawaii. In which case, it's wearing a grass sh skirt. I believe that is. Um, this fish looks insane. Very bad. Well, let me let me let me type it into. I don't even know what it looks like. Oh my god! You shouldn't be eating this. Oh look at that! Look at the forehead on that. It's just. Jeez, it looks, it's got a. <laughs> it looks like it's got a. It, lo it looks like if it headbutt you, you would die. It looks like it has an anger problem already. Like it has a... 
the size of this head. Also, gr- gr- like gray colors, right? Green. You know, gr- like straight green up and green. yellow. Green and green yellow. And I yellow? got green and yellow stripes. It looks like it's got green, yellow with like blue paint drops just dripped all over it. There, there's also, uh, you can Google blue mahi mahi, uh, just as cool. Yeah, let me do blue. And you can find these in the same water, which hey, I don't know why. That. Man, that's such a and nice the, color. The intensity uh, for the blue color and the green color are the same, so other fish apparently visualize them similarly. Oh, okay. They can't tell whether like, they're green. This is, they're under, they're under uh, what's it called? Um, uh, appreciated. Yeah, it's true. You know? Have you looked at a mung fish? Mung, M-U-N-G. It's very expensive. It's very common. Mung fish. Okay. All right, typing it. Oh! It so looks like... It, uh, let me put it on screen. Let me put it on screen. Hold on. I'll just yeah. open up a new window here. A mung fish. So the mung fish is obviously a bottom dweller. As is you it can monk? Tell. I think it's monk. Oh, I have it as M-U-N-G. Do I, is it M-O-N-K? It, it yeah, keeps, you're right. It's yeah. monkfish. This fish was cheap as hell in the 40s. They rebranded it to a monkfish, and now they charge like top dollar for it, just like lobster. Does it lobster taste good? Was, it does not look great. Oh, it tastes really good because it just sits there. It's a pretty like so it's like tender soft meat. fish. Oh, yeah, yeah. This looks so gross. No, it's it tastes pretty good. It tastes so good you that I was it? like, let me. Oh, of course. When? It tastes so good that I was like, what's it look like? I was like, holy shit. You know, like a demon. <laughs> like I'm eating a demon. Can you, you know? get can you get monk fish here? Yeah, all you, the time. Or, oh, yeah. No problems. You can get monk fish. Uh, you can even buy monk fish at like uh, Asian grocery stores, how readily available it is. Where else? So, where, yeah. <laughs> where else? You could probably get an Asian guy at an Asian grocery store. <laughs> hey, you can, get a, you can get an Asian kidney. Yeah, you could be mad at me or you can go to your Asian grocery store with $500 for a kidney. You'll get one. Yeah. It'll be fresh. Yeah. They'll get you one. <laughs> but yeah, this you is just a... point. They'll point to the kid. You want this one? And you just take one? a two by four. Have you seen when they when when you choose fish in a tank? Oh man, I've done that. Right? Have you done so you, that? You choose a couple fish. You like you point at them, and then after they don't speak English. Uh, not the fish. The the guy who serves yeah. you. Um, and then you got to be like, I need to chop it. So you go like, I need to chop. Yeah. And he's like, right. okay. And then I and then he's like, how big? He does this thing, and I'm like, okay, this big. And then uh, it, take a, it takes a net, scoops out the fish, somehow yeah. keeping track of what fish I pointed out to. Amazing. Right. Um, and then he, he, he knows all it. of them. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I know. Oh, you want Todd? <laughs> yeah, you want Todd? <laughs> all right, Todd, it's, t- it's your time to go. <laughs> uh, takes it, brings it to the ground, you know? Oh, man. It's got yeah? a two by four. Grabs right. that two by four and just whack. Just kill it right there. Still kind of twitching. Takes yeah. that, takes it off, and then throws it on a tree trunk. They never have regular cutting boards. It's right. a slice of tree. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. You throw that it's in the there. Same just... tree they they cut and then cut cut trunks out of it. Yeah, exactly. It's probably having his, the full tree in the back, and it just keeps yeah. cutting slices off of it. And then they chop it with, uh, you know, and very quickly put it into a thing, and then away you go. I don't feel too bad about the fish, you know, because mm. it normally gets hit up. You know, if he hits it hard enough with the wood, yeah, you're good. Have you done good. Have you, when they, when they, when they do to a lobster? I feel horrible. I feel uh, I, I've had the same experience you just described. Which, which supermarket did you have this experience? Oh, uh, the the original Chinatown in, uh, in like on Dundas that looks like Chinatown. It's got like all of the cool architecture and stuff like that. Dundas and oh, uh, I know and thing and then TNT. The one in Mississauga. Yeah, Mississauga. Yeah, I like how you're like the original Chinatown. I was like, you mean Mississauga? I wonder how long that's been there. I, I, I went to the 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 Horontario place. Uh, TNT. Up on like her entire yeah TNT. TNT and he I had the same experience he's like he said something in Asian I don't know why he started talking to me in a like nothing about this interaction <laughs> should make you speak in Chinese and he was like you know do you want me to kill it in Chinese and me and my dad were like excuse me and he goes like this he makes two fingers he's like and I was like <laughs> and I was like wow and my dad immediately was like oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know like he got it immediately yeah yeah like Shoot that shit in the head. In my <laughs> Can you imagine? He's like, oh, you want with an actual pistol. He pulls out a gun, just takes the fish, Dude. just shooting the fish. Uh, it was so weird because it was two catfish. They put it on the floor. Two guys pop up with two by fours. It looks like a gang of, like initiation. <laughs> just taking it to the fish. Dude, it's just like one guy hits it and it didn't die. And he right. looked at the other one. And you could tell they were just going one for one. Yeah, Who yeah. gets to kill it? <laughs> and I was like, oh, geez. It took two shots. But. All right, fair. 
Yeah, catfish are crazy though, man. If you don't kill that catfish and just put it in a plastic bag, you can come home and still alive. Mm. You can come home 40 minute drive in a plastic bag and it will be, you put it in water, just start swimming again. You don't, catfish are weird, man. Catfish are... It's one of those reasons. Again, when, when, a, when an animal can do that, like, should you be eaten? Have it you doesn't even have, have you, scales. Yeah, have you trans, trans like uh, transcended? Transcended? You know? Yeah. You're like, we should probably not eat you. You know, it's like I, dolphins. I, I, I'm assuming yeah. dolphins taste great, but because right. dolphins have apparently dialects and they play and 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 um, apparently rape, um, so they're yeah. like, oh, you know, you, you can make you can make like higher decisions. We shouldn't eat you. Yeah, no, it's uh, I, if I find anybody who eats a dolphin, it's much like if they eat dog, in my opinion. Yeah. I mean, I'll ask okay how it tastes. I'm really? Yeah. I mean, like, I don't, it's not like I would say you should eat them. I'm just mm-hmm. saying if there's a lot of them and you need to cull the herd, eat them. Yeah. I think we're probably going out of our way to eat them. I don't think it's like they're just falling out of the ocean. I feel Fair. like there's. Yeah, they're getting caught in the tuna nets and stuff like this. Yeah. Definitely. Like, uh, I have a feeling about orcas. Okay. And then don't eat orcas. Oh, okay. Yeah. Why, why orcas? I don't know, man. I watched Free Willy when I was a kid, and um, that's it. And then I read the book. Mm-hmm. Then I read the book like ten times. Yeah, he freed Willy. It's true. A- any him. any animal smiling, like just smiling the whole time. I'm yeah. like, guys, we shouldn't. Dogs, dolphins, orcas are all. Yeah, I feel like let them live. I mean, what's on fire in your enough. place, bro? That's <laughs> been going on for like uh, two this three minutes. This city is on fire, my friend. When a fire truck goes through the city of Toronto, right. everybody knows it. And I live by the exit. So mm-hmm. no, no And I also live by the, the fire station. I live oh, less than a I live less than a, a five minute walk from the fire station. So they all I start it, here. Oh okay. Yeah. There's one That's right here by the water. You're safe. I guess. I'm also on the you know, twenty fifth floor. Yeah. If a fire like, makes it up there. Then I'm pretty screwed anyways. Yeah. Do you have an exit yeah. strategy? Have you ever thought about like... Um, yeah, the couple, stairwell. Let me throw some scenarios your way, brother. Please. Okay. Um, fire above you, that's very easy. Just take the stairs and go down, right? Uh, what, if, what if it's like mad packed? Everyone's going at the same time. How do you navigate trying to get yourself safe? And your wife. We'll throw that in there. Oh, see, now that's a wrench. See, right? that's the problem, right? It's, <laughs> it's so easy for a man who is limber... To yeah. take care of themselves. Yeah, 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 yeah. It just gets difficult when you add a baby or a, or a mm-hmm. wife who's not doing CrossFit or stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I would probably start walking on people. Yeah. Um, you know what? Also, like, I feel like with Farah, people will just be like, oh, come on in, you know? Like, they'll mm-hmm. just help her because she's a lady. Right. Um, I don't have an exit strategy. Okay. For right, fires. Fair enough. Okay, for fires. It's really the, the stairwell. That's, a, that's all you got, right? I've got no what, options. What floor are you on? 20, 19? I'm on the 25th. 25th. You're high. You're it's high, high. high. Yeah, I've yeah. thought about... I've I've accidentally dropped things, mm-hmm. uh, like my barbecue cleaner, the yeah. liquid, and uh, I I had to watch it the whole way down, just like whoa. And when I hit the ground, I was like, oh yeah, nothing's gonna. This thing even hit the the thing, the bottle, which is plastic, went. Yeah. I was like, oh, I can't even imagine something that uh, is not plastic. Would you Would you Jet Li it? Do you remember Jet Li from Romeo Must Die? No, I remember the movie, but what do you do? Did he ride the bottle and jump off at the end? What do you do? No, no, he's. <laughs> <laughs> he's uh you know he holds the balcony let's go and then catches the next balcony and then let's go mm-hmm. and then catches the next balcony as he goes down floors i'm not doing that all right fair enough i've, I've i know i can do five pull-ups yeah i can't go from balcony to balcony bro i can't do it <laughs> you know you what? know what they should have like at a gym mm-hmm. <laughs> an actual training so instead of just a pull-up bar they have a pull-up <laughs> bar on top of a pull-up bar <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and you just keep training, and then it, like it just lifts you up when you get to the bottom bar, and just, you can let go again. Just keep doing yeah. that. Yeah, you seen stairmasters? Like they'll yeah. have like a exactly. stairmaster, yes, something exactly. like that. It yeah. just kicks you up, and then it's time to let go. It's okay. called the Jet Li machine. <laughs> oh yeah, I feel like if you're in a, you know, if fires were happening all the time, you should yeah. probably work that muscle out. Earthquake. Earthquake. Uh, earthquake. I'm screwed. Yeah, I'm in a building, dude. I'm screwed in most of these situations. Yeah, that's the thing, right? This you is should... where I'm good. Zombie horde. Okay, yeah, let's talk, let's talk through the zombies. Let's talk through yeah. the zombie situation. Right. So first thing I do, mm. I know which one of these people are assholes on my floor. Okay. So their food is mine. I think it's, I think it's a foregone conclusion mm-hmm. 
that the most annoying people shouldn't be they should just be zombies okay whether i have to kill them oh, wait um this is hypothetical right i'm, I'm yeah of course yeah, all right yeah. whether i have to kill them or what like i need to uh yeah. i need to make sure everybody on my floor is a team player yeah and anybody who isn't is either leaving mm-hmm. or uh yeah we're gonna take care of them right so this is how like i gotta make this sure this is effective and then after that, yeah, we make basically give some people role, roles. We have a couple of guys that are in charge of going out, getting food. Mm-hmm. We have a, I don't know what everybody's going to do, but I think we'll be okay. It's a right. condo. We got to go out. There's water right here. Enough boats or something. Got to figure that out. Throw in some lures, fish. I think we can live off of fishing. The water's pretty safe from zombies. Unless they can, even if they can get in the water, they're not swimming. They're That's too much. The ground. They're walking It's too low. I don't think they're going to be able to... Lake Ontario is pretty deep. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. So, like, I should be okay because it's not like this lake starts off at one foot. It just starts off with, like, you get in the water, you got 40 feet under you. You remember right? that, the dread you f- felt while reading uh, World War Z when they go yeah. into the water and they're, they're freaking walking in the water? <laughs> they're walking in the water. <laughs> All right, fair yeah. enough. I have questions about buoyancy, but it is what it is. But I think I'll be fine. Okay. Uh, that's, a zombie situation is ideally what I'm built for. You, on the other hand, might have more issues with zombies and less issues with other things. Yeah, we, uh, we store uh, these, these uh, metal squares that have bars on them. Okay. They used, they used to be on our windows. And it would look, right. like, you, it would look like a prison. Hmm. 100%. There's no way to look at these bars. One day you come over to my place, I'll show it to you. It literally okay. looks like prison bars. So we took them down, obviously, when we did the renovations and stuff like this. But those would go back up. Put those, uh, put those bars in. And then, uh, and then I think we'd be okay. You know, here's the deal, right? You got to go through your neighbors and you got to figure mm-hmm. out which one is going to be a team player and which one's not going to be a team player. And, you know, who's going to be, uh, of, who's gonna be useful, mm-hmm. right? What is the one thing that one of your neighbors would either have to have as uh, like a possession and mm-hmm. or uh, a, a skill, skill for him to, to, to go at the highest level of that hierarchy of your floor? Any sort of medical background, right? Nurse, paramedic, doctor. Okay. That's one aspect. And those are just to be expected, right? But then you have other skills. Uh, Somebody who can, yeah, work with mechanics, like has a knowledge. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, anybody with a trade, even if you're a cook. Yeah. Like, you know how ingredients work or shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, I'll take a Boy Scout leader as long as he's not touchy, you know, over most of the jobs that kind of exist. Right. Um. Or if they have a gun or a bunch of knives I like or ninja stars, they can be in the group, you know. Yeah. See, that's what um, I'm thinking, right? Yeah. If, if you know how to cook and you know how to shoot, yeah, you sit at the top. You unfortunately just knew. Or if you know how to fish, you know. Oh, I want to learn how to fish. I mean, yeah. like my, my neighbor apparently spent like over the course of, uh, I don't know, like the last decade, uh, like $10,000 worth of stuff for fishing because he likes it so much i'm going with my father-in-law to uh, you pay like 180 dollars for the day which is actually if they get you on a boat and this is a nice boat like it has an inside and an outside so it's big enough to have an inside and an outside uh they set you up with the fishing gear the lure and all of it and for six hours you guys fish and whatever you catch goes to you oh that's amazing it's obviously like a the disney world version of actually going fishing in a way but yeah. like it's legit fish you're yeah. in a legit lake and you have le- le- you know everything is geared up that's kind of cool i think that would learn, be fun you can kind of learn what what you like what you dislike what how the how the, how and they, the equipment they, works whatever you catch they cut up and give you or cook for you right there so like <laughs> uh it's a good step into a situation also it's like fairly socially distanced you're the only one on this boat other than the the driver right well, that's good. I'm saying, I, really I'm cool. saying, we got to do this, and yes, we also we gotta to then maybe go get like a turkey or a deer. Ooh, you want to go get a fish, a bird, and an animal? Yeah, but first I need to get the gun. I think you can do without the gun for the fish, unless like. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. we can do without. The you're gun like, for the fish. screw this fish. Fishing with dynamite. I would like fishing with it. dynamite. Yeah. I think that has a it has a name. What is it called? I don't know. I saw a Captain America episode. It was a common thing back then. Oh, and it, like, messes up the whole ecosystem, obviously. Yeah. Like, and it's like, literally... You get, like, fish that are concussed, like, two kilometers yeah. away. They just come to the surface, yeah. and they're just all... 
Can you imagine? Then a you get those two Asian grenade? guys with the <laughs> two Asian guys with those with those two by four. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what I laughed at, but I hope you didn't ruin us all. <laughs> Just have them on the boat. You throw it. You uh, pull the fish inside. Send it over to them. Oh they they take turns whacking it. And then away you go. This is true. Anyway, uh, how's your Peloton doing? Uh, my wife has used it 10 times in the last two weeks. Okay. Jeez. I have ridden it. Yeah, no exag- exaggeration. You can actually go on there. Yeah. Uh, I've used it once, but to my like on Sunday, I went on a 20K bicycle ride. Yeah. On Monday, I went on a 30K bicycle oh, ride. Oh, you're doing it outside. It's great. So, yeah, I, she likes the Peloton. It mm-hmm. is for her. Like, right. I, I rather, while the sun like is out, I'd rather yeah, do it yeah, outside. 100%. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Also, it's Sunday, they opened up Lakeshore, man. You got to You got to do this with me, by the way. Oh, okay, 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 okay. What are you doing maybe even this Sunday? Potentially free. This Sunday or next Sunday, hmm. uh, for the whole weekend, they open up Lakeshore. And all, f- all three to four lanes, there are not that many cyclists on there. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. Well, uh, I you know, might have sent you a couple of videos, but it's so really there's not nice. A, there's not a, no, you didn't send me anything. I don't think so. Um, there's okay. not a... Uh, it's not like a, a race that's happening and we're just we're just gonna no. be jumping <laughs> just 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 getting in the way people cannot use lakeshore to get into the city or out of the city that's the only uh, way i get into lake uh, into the city most of the time well you, you can just take spadina to my place park here yeah, we yeah. go down to the bridge mm-hmm. we come back 20k 10k there 10k back it's perfect right. on bixie bikes bikes uh Bixies? that's what i do yeah that's what because it's seven dollars for the day mm-hmm. so it's not that bad yeah 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 Plus, so, my bike is no longer my own. My dad's taking oh, it. There you go. Unless you want to, like, just take a Bixie. It's fine. If, right, fine. if Farah and I can do it on a Bixie, it's, you'll, you'll be fine as well. It's a lot of fun, man. Yeah. They have gears yeah. on a Bixie? Yeah, they have three. It's uh, gear number one, and it goes from there. That's cool. That's cool. I'm assuming that one in the middle is number two, and then, uh, and then it tops okay. out at three. No, I'll tell you about it later. Cool. Um, dude, what, what are we at right now? Man... Solid 40 minutes, dude. Yeah, man. I did not. I, I thought we were only at 20. I was like, we got to fill in this thing over here, and I've run out of topics, uh, and I'm getting sweaty, and I got to go to the gym. I know we got to talk about like some sort of list for animals, but we'll wait. do it on the next one. Wait, 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 wait. Or wait. if you want to, yeah. No, no, no. We're not going to do We're not gonna do the animal stuff, although we're supposed to. It's it's literally, oh, it's it's uh, it's bookmark still over there, 100 most influential animals. That's why I'm saying. Like, yeah. I, I think we might want to start the next one off yeah, on yeah, that yeah. one. Yeah, we'll do we'll do that there. But we'll do this real quick. Sure. Um, the old guard. Yes. Oh. The old guard. Mm-hmm. Great movie. So much fun. Charlize oh. Theron and a bunch Charlize of people Theron. I can't name. Actually, there's a few people you can name. Friggin' Chidwell Ojikar. I can't say his name either. But I don't know what's so Chidwell's cool, name. You know. I love that guy. He's in, he's good in everything. He is good. He's a true. He seems like a true believer. The first time I watched him was in uh, the movie uh, Firefly. No, Serenity. Movie Serenity. Serenity. Yeah, I don't know the guy's last name. I think it's Chidwell Ijewor, uh, or I keep saying Whitaker. Ijewo but... four. Oh, okay. E E J I O F O R. It's got a, such a cool name. Yo, it says on here his sister's name is Zan. Z A I N. Where Zane. is this gentleman born? London. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's that. Ex- that ex- explains his accent. Yo, his sister's name is Zan Usher. Like, I feel like yeah, somebody, Muslims. I think it's a brother, <laughs> like a Zen usher. Yeah, this might be. Uh, also written by the great Greg Rucka. Yeah. <clears throat> Who also did a movie called, excuse me, uh, he's a comic book writer, uh, amongst other things. Uh, super, super talented. He's got, a, he's got a, another, uh, so this movie is also based on a comic book. And then there's another comic book series called Lazarus, which I strongly recommend for anyone who wants a good uh, graphic novel read. Uh, he seems to be very good at putting like lead women. Like he likes he likes he likes his uh, story or his protagonist to be women, and he does it really well. It's pretty it's pretty damn cool. Mm. Anyway, uh, this movie, dude. One of the one of the coolest things about this. First of all, don't watch any trailers. Just watch it. Right. It's some of the it's just more fun that way when you don't know what yeah. the hell's going on. I didn't even know that they had powers. 
until like but you you learn about that in the first two minutes of the movie yeah also it like anything, uh but it's i would so say cool. like obviously spoiler alerts all now. over this if yeah, you haven't yeah. seen this yeah yeah now <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah yeah because from this point we're gonna end the podcast so you can you can end right here if you like <clears throat> dude the fight scenes freaking nice yeah the, for, I, I know that we appreciate like good storytelling and writing and we we it ha- but the fight scenes in this were a lot of fun yeah especially from like the the first big one where these guys get ambushed where they yeah. go into this room the lights come on they get shot up and they reanimate that first fight scene yeah reminded me a bit of what was the christian bale movie with the, a lot of gunfighting oh Actually, i know too it, much equilibrium that was way too much gunfighting where i'm like hey man it's just a gun. Why are you doing this with it? You know, it's the like, gun kata, dude. <laughs> you, yeah, must, the gun you must, kata. Re- you must, re- you must, re- you must respect the gun kata. It's true, right? They even told yeah. you the reason why they move it is because when you're moving, you're actually moving out of the way of where you think they might be shooting. Anyway, go on. Mm, no, and I, I love that there was a bit of that in this. There was a very beginning part where a dude had a shotgun. He reloads. He bounces it off the floor. Just bounces it, and it fires. And I was like, I'm going to like this movie. Yeah. I hope it's yeah. just fight scenes. But then it actually had a storyline and, and like, really good character development, man. I was, uh, I, I was hooked. While yeah. it was happening, I was like, am I liking this way more than I should? Right. And then, and yeah, yeah, it's one of those things. It's, yeah. it's like, I feel like I should dislike this. Because, yeah. uh, because the, 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 last, the week before, we were watching UFC together, and then the trailer came on, and I'm like, yo, I'm not going to watch the trailer because I know I'm going to watch a movie later. Mm. You watched it, and then you messaged me, you're like, oh, brother, this is not going to be a good movie. <laughs> I didn't think so. Because those are the type of premises that are hard to like carry through for an hour and a half. Right. At yeah. some point, you're like... Yeah, I see what you ha- you, why you had to have this bullshit in here. You almost right. expect them to have some absolute nonsense to make yeah. it make sense. It's also one of but, those things where it's like this movie like takes itself seriously, but just enough mm. for it to be believable that you feel the gravity around it. And there's a lot of things where like it's when a when a movie doesn't like try to push down um, like it, it it develops the story in a way that's kind of nuanced. And as a result, I feel like you kind of you kind of absorb it a little bit better, so that mm-hmm. when you when they tell you about like so the vastness of time of how much how much time some of these people have experienced in their life and why they are the way they are, you kind of it kind of hits you in your chest. I, I I was surprisingly emotionally invested in these characters mm-hmm. in what is probably just a comic book movie. You know, I and they did a good job of making you invest in those characters, like. Uh, like Booker, who's one of the characters, his speech about, you know, his family yeah. and what it means to like, oh, when yeah. he, yeah, he was talking to Niall about what, what it means to have, outlive everyone that you know. Yeah. And I was like, ooh, this guy, who is this guy? And why is he acting so well? Right. Yeah. That's and true. Then, or the, or, or the gay dude talking about his gay lover. And by the time he was done speaking, I'm like, do I like, do I like yeah, him do, too? Do I? <laughs> Do I think gay love is more stronger than standard <laughs> men and women? Like this guy's loving this one, this guy like way this more than much. I've seen, than I've seen any man love a woman. Yeah, you know. Yeah, that's true. And that, like it's well written. Yeah, it was, it was good. It was good. It wasn't corny at all. I was like, fair enough. Yeah, and like real talk. Like if I wanted to go into a fight, you know, everybody says like, hey, if you were gonna get caught in a back alley, which friend would you take? I would take my gay lover. That would be my number one choice. Yeah. If I ever get in a fight. Yeah. I want this guy to have my back and also because love me. Because he's also me. had your back. Yeah, he's, he's, he's had, had my back. back. <laughs> hey, man, we don't have to make me gear and gear. That's not the point. I'm just saying I want a well-trained man that right. loves me more than anything. Fair. Watching my back. I think right. that's the, how the military should be built. Okay. You know? it's, just, <laughs> it's just like... Just increase, the, the, increase the level of brotherhood to just lovers? Just lovers. Yeah. If you want to be in the military, have somebody who, who's willing to die for you. Yeah. Bring that person in here. You guys get married with day one. Yeah. And then you go from there and you're That's like, true. yo, imagine if you're the sniper and this is your friggin', you know, whoever does the measuring Spotter. and stuff. You know, yeah. this guy will do a good job if he loves Spotter. you. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, he's like 102 miles, baby. And you're like... <laughs> Like thanks, dear. You See, kill that's, somebody. That's the thing, though. They, they, they. Okay, so what was cool about a lot of the fight scenes um, was the fact that these people have been fighting 
for centuries together. Centuries, yeah. And that's what made it cool is because, first of all, by themselves, they were just lethal people because they, mm-hmm. they've they every fought. They, they've they've had every battle possible. They've already had it. You know, they've, mm-hmm. they've spent centuries. So they know how to fight. And then they know how to fight together. And mm-hmm. probably the crescendo of, it, of, of that movie, the, like the end fight scene, which is amazing. Yeah. Um, just like a well-oiled machine. Everyone is where they're supposed to be. Everyone knows where the other person is. They can count on that person to shoot this other person while I do yep. this other thing. Dude, it was amazing. It was like, yeah. it's just, and then here's the thing though, right? The gay guys were the best fighters <laughs> that fought together in tandem. Right. And it's that true. makes sense. That makes that sense. That makes sense. They would, they would, they would. They met in the Crusades. They've been fighting. They've been they know. fighting for a bit. Yeah. I'd loved if I would loved if one of them was smaller and the yeah. other guy would throw him at the I would like if they had some sort of like interplay that was really like, ah, uh, I see why you love each other. Right, fair. Just like fucking shoots his buddy at the dude. <laughs> Just flying flying Great towards movie, the dude. Though. Yeah. Good movie though. Yeah, I hope yeah, they're yeah. It seems like they're obviously gonna make another one. If yeah, they're not, not hinting whole... towards a, a sequel. That was pretty no. heavily Yeah, they're was... like, We're gonna make a series. Yeah. <laughs> oh. It was directed by a lady. Gina yeah. Prince Bathwood. What else has she done? Uh, holy Schnikes! Nothing that you would think over here would be that she would do. Like you, if you look at the, well, shots fired. Yeah. I guess I don't even know. I don't know any of. No, I, I looked at her uh, resume as well. Yeah. I also think she's like sixty or fifty because I never saw this lady before. She don't look sixty. Yeah, but look at her dob. Oh my god, nineteen. What is it? This lady looks like she's thirty. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Because oh, I saw this, I'm frick? like, oh, they got this young, you know, they got like a diverse lady. Yeah. No, no this, this lady's been working since no, 1991, apparently. She made a good movie. I, yeah, she was part of the Bernie, she's been working. You know, Bernie Mac. She did Love and Basketball. Yeah, like this. That's, that's it weird. Doesn't seem like an, it doesn't seem like an obvious precursor, you right? know? Like, <laughs> it's like, oh, I watch a really cool basketball movie. You know what's good? <laughs> no, a romantic basketball movie. Yeah, that's true. Did this, you know, yeah. like. Anyway, I'm fun. glad you brought that up, man. Good movie, though. Solid. If you haven't checked out, uh, checked it out, definitely, definitely check, check it out, out. The Old Guard. Definitely. I think I by the night I had messaged like a few people. Like, have you seen this? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. You will not be disappointed, I don't think. No, you will not. Plus, it's rated R, so fun times. Yeah, fun well, times people indeed. get shot enough in that movie. Just bullet holes everywhere. I like it. That's how people, I like life. This has been episode 245. Mm. Thanks for hanging with us. We'll be back in a week. Take care of yourselves. Enjoy that sun. Be nice to yourself. Oh my God, he's holding a knife while I say be nice. Take care of yourselves. We'll be back in a week. Good night.